Hi everyone, this is Jim Piccarello, Maine Maritime Academy's instructional designer, here to tell you about Canvas, our online distance learning system. To get here, go into your browser, preferably the Chrome browser, and type in mma.instructure.com. When you press enter, you will come to this page. It says email, but what you should put in is the first dot last name login that IT gave you either for your first class email or just to get into Canvas and then the password that has either been created for you or that you've created and then hit login. And that brings you to the Canvas dashboard. You'll see here big squares which are representing each of the courses that you are signed up for. Um, over on the right you'll see to do's and coming up information and feedback and things like that uh, based on your interactions with the course and on the left you'll have uh, major navigation, another list of courses, your calendar, uh, Canvas Space Inbox, which you probably won't be using very much, and account information, which I'll get into in a minute. If we go into this course example right now, you will see that on the left you have major navigation. If you do not see this navigation, it is because your screen is too small, which is fine. Uh, say it was this small and it's gone, click on this icon and it forces it open. But for now, we'll just leave it as normal. You may not see something like this that your uh, teacher has created. You may see a list of things that are due or a list of um, recent events that have happened in your course. Or you may see modules. And modules, which I'll tell you real quick, are a way that your teacher is forcing you to do certain things in a certain order or in a certain way. Um, you may not see any of these items on the left. You might only see modules or a few of these, but I'm going to go over them anyway. Um, assignments are exactly that, anything that has a grade associated to it. So it may be a quiz, it might be an online discussion, it may be uh, something where you have to submit a document. A discussion is exactly that, an online discussion where if I click on this example discussion and I want to create a reply, I have the ability to type in my response to whatever the uh, discussion issue is. I can format them using these formatting tools. And I can also, which I'll tell you about real quick, I can also upload media. And by doing that, you click on that icon, which looks like film. You say, I'm allowing my camera and microphone to, to, have, to be accessed by my computer. And then it'll tell you to click anywhere to start the recording. I click once, don't click twice, just once. And now as I talk, you can see that uh, it hear me, hears me. I click on it again. I hit save. And what it does is it embeds uh, some media into my answer. I hit post reply. And you can see that there's my answer and all that wonderful text that I created. Uh, grades are where you see your grades. I can go to the people area to see who else is in my course, uh, teachers, teachers' assistants, and information about them. Um, pages are essentially that, just web pages that the teacher has created. Files is an area where your teacher has uh, uploaded files for you to have access to. You may or may not have access to any of these files. Your syllabus is something that you might actually see the first time you open up Canvas. Uh, this is a custom area where your teacher can post information. But then at the bottom, Canvas actually creates an official syllabus, which are the due dates and the actual uh, names and details of what is due. Quizzes are a list of quizzes, um, which may also be tests, but Canvas just calls them quizzes. I've already talked about modules. Conferences are uh, video conferences, in case your teacher has a virtual online discussion area. Collaborations are where you can take a Google Doc or other kinds of documents and everybody works on them in real time together editing them. And then chat is an area where you can chat with anybody else in your course that happens to be online at the moment. Calendar is exactly that. A calendar that has all of the due dates and items that are happening. Uh, they are color coded. And if I wanted to toggle between all the different items, I can toggle in and out of different courses. I can create a calendar feed if I want to hook it up to my Google Calendar. And I can also create my own events um, if 
I wanted to if I were using the Canvas calendar often. Inbox, uh, you probably won't use very much, but you'll see all of the announcement, announcements that have been created. And you can also communicate directly with uh, other people in your course. Um, so I can select a course. Um, and then I can actually click in here and see a list of folks that are in the course, say other students. And then there's, there's me. And I can send myself an email. But you get the idea. Anything that you received in the receive in the Canvas email, you will also be receiving in your other email, which has been set in your account. By default, if you are a student here, you have a first class email. So I'm going to go to my profile of my account, and you'll see that, well, in this situation, I have it, my default email is jimpicarello at gmail.com. Um, I could add an email address um, if I have additional ones. Uh, by default, it would probably be your first class account. Here's my name. Um, and then if I wanted to, and I suggest this, um, upload a picture so everybody knows what you look like if, if you want. You can also connect Google Drive, Skype, and other systems so you can be accessing and sharing information that way. And the last thing which I highly recommend to take a look at are notifications. And these are all the different ways that Canvas is going to communicate with you. So for instance, by default, often these settings are just the way you want them. But um, for instance, if a due date has been created or changed, you'll find out about it weekly. Uh, grading policies have changed, you'll find out about it weekly. If the court, course content has changed, you'll never hear about it based on this. And you can change it right away, a daily summary, weekly summary. But in general, every single time your teacher has created uh, or, or changed new con uh, changed content, you don't want to get an email every single time that happens. So go through all of these and mouse over each one so you can have an idea of what it is that you would be um, contacted about and decide whether or not that these settings are correct. You are responsible for these settings. So if you say, I never want to hear about any of these, then you can't complain that a due date has come and gone because <laughs> you didn't know about it. Um, so that's pretty much it. That is Canvas in a nutshell. If you have any issues, please email me at jim.picarello in first class. You can just type in jim and then space and then p, and you'll get me, Jim Picarello. You can also click on help down here. You can ask your instructor a question. You can search the Canvas guides. Um, they have fantastic guides on how to do every single thing. You can report a problem. Um, if you report a problem, please type in your name on the off chance Canvas doesn't tell me who you are um, because this goes straight to me. And that's it. Thank you very much and have a wonderful experience on Canvas.